Hey y'all, I'm out here at the Simple Fresh Garden tonight. Uh, we leave to head to Georgia um, about 2.30 in the morning. <laughs> and um, this will be my last time seeing the garden before we leave. We'll be gone for eight days. And I'm meeting um, Eliza, our sweet Eliza out here. She is our um, canine training manager at Semper Canine, but before that, she was a longtime volunteer with our program from the time she was 15 or 16 years old. Um, the school bus would drop her off at our uh, location at Semper Canine so she could learn how to train dogs. And then when she graduated high school, we decided to hire her on. So she will be taking care of all the dogs that we have at the house while still doing her job at Semper Canine and she'll be taking care of the garden and the chickens who are yelling because they want out, but they got out this morning, so they're fine right now. Anyway, so I'm gonna walk through the garden, harvest uh, the last of the beans that I see that are ready or almost ready. Uh, all of the tomatoes that are potentially ready as well. And then I'm gonna show Eliza what to do when she gets here in a few minutes as far as trying to take care of the garden. Hopefully, she doesn't have to do a lot of watering. The forecast is calling for scattered thunderstorms every evening, uh, every other evening for the rest of the week. So, my hope is that she doesn't have to do a lot um, to the garden. So, um, let's go check it out and see what's going on in here. Let's get in the garden, y'all. So, for now, I'm going to leave some of these June bugs on so I can show Eliza what to do. <laughs> When she comes out here and sees them, I probably need to leave her a little jar so she can collect them and give them to the chickens, or she can just do away with them herself. Look at all these things. Good grief. And y'all, I'm not even kidding. Like, if we did not have that, um, those Japanese beetle traps that are full, I don't know how bad it would be right now. Maybe we need to empty the bags. Maybe that's why they're not um, getting in there as much, or maybe this is just what's left over. So here's something I find interesting. This is a Dances with Smurfs, and this is a Dances with Smurfs. And you can see on the shoulders of these tomatoes, they're already blue. That other tomato never really had that blue on it, but I went back and looked, and I know for a fact I did not get it mixed up because all of my tomatoes when they were babies, all the dances with Smurfs had little uh, blue on the edges of the leaves and that one did too. So I'm thinking I'm gonna pick those other ones that are red over there on that tree. Tree, that vine, that plant, whatever. <laughs> it's almost as big as a tree, that one's tall. And what in the heck kind of beetle is that? Or is that a wasp? Hmm, that was kind of scary and a June bug. These blueberries though, those are so cute. Y'all, I am just so tickled I got to see this. I can't even tell you how pretty this is but this video just does not do it justice it is beautiful okay y'all we have some hornworm damage here but I'm not seeing a hornworm how did I miss this look at it strip these leaves and ate these tomatoes where is this guy we got to find him Look at that. Dougie, Dougie, what are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing, Robin? Y'all wanna come in the garden, but you can't. Y'all will eat everything. So we have Eliza here and I'm teaching her um, what she needs to do while we're gone. And we just found a hornworm, as you saw. Um, and we fed it to the chickies. So I'm teaching her about cucumber beetles and uh, Japanese beetles and hornworms. So I'm gonna harvest all of these tomatoes that are almost red or that are already turning from green 
and take them with me and then I'm handing it over to Eliza after that. So now I gotta go show her how to turn on the generator. Robin, Robin, you gonna behave? Do you wanna be a garden dog? Mickey's a good garden dog. Sit, sit, don't eat the corn. Cause he ate my lemongrass a minute ago. So this shows we only got <laughs> We got way more rain than that because Bo and I was out here and it was pouring rain. But this is where the rain gauge will be, so it'll tell you. <laughs> Are you thirsty? You drinking my rain gauge water, Robin? So, um, and these are gourds, birdhouse gourds. They're, they should be fine hanging just like that. I'm going to make birdhouses out of them. Look at her sniffing around. Norman walked right in here and peed oh, on my squash a couple months ago. I was like, what um but yeah i hammocked the uh pumpkin there's another one over here that i hammocked because it was growing on the outside and once those watermelons that are coming up the trellis get that big i will do that too so Daddy, we just found Daddy. an egg this is Good our boy. first blue egg it's blue which one are you which one are you laid it that little one up there on the top she laid it See her standing up, the little bantam? Our first blue egg. We've got our first blue egg, y'all. Bantam egg. Isn't it cute? Look at it. So cute, I can't wait to show Ava. Dougie, what are you doing, Dougie? Oh my word. <laughs> Dougie! What is it, Robin? What's wrong with him? I don't see any more eggs over there, do y'all? <laughs> I guess look around for eggs. <laughs> oh my gosh, Dougie! Wait. Wait. <laughs> I knew that wasn't gonna work. <laughs> Boy, let us get you cleaned up. There you go. <laughs> He's letting me get his butt and everything. Uh oh, oh, I stepped on it. I was like, why'd the water stop? <laughs> Crazy dog. <laughs> How much more do you want to? Robin, you're getting muddy again. I would say I have a towel in the car, but my car's completely cleaned out. There's nothing in it. Oh my God. You want me to get them to roll over? Okay, y'all, Liza's heading out. I'm about to head out to the gardens in good hand. How to get on to Robin Girl because she jumped in my melon bed. She better watch it. But uh, Liza now feels confident that she's going to be able to uh, take care of the garden while we're gone. And the chickens. Man, that artichoke is so pretty. But I'm going to harvest the last of these tomatoes. Oops. And then I'm heading out, y'all. I gotta start getting the house packed up, cleaned up, the car packed up. And um, definitely I'm glad I found that hornworm and was able to show Eliza what to look for. Cause he could have devastated the whole, dang it, the whole um, plants, all these plants right here. But anyway, uh, y'all have a good evening. I'll see y'all next time. Bye, y'all.